The ability to read a green is crucial in becoming a good putter and of course and in bringing your scores down. The issue a lot of people have is they're not quite sure what they're looking for and they're looking from the wrong place. Once you get onto the green and you're looking down on the grass everything is going to look very flat. So the best place to look at the green is actually a number of paces back away where you can see the whole green in context with the surrounding area. So let's take a short walk back and we'll get a good look at the whole picture. This means that as you're walking up to the green, just take a moment to stop and get a really good look round. So at this stage, we're not looking for any real detail, we're just looking for the main slopes of the surface. So I'd keep my attention wide and I can see that the far left of the green is considerably higher than the far right. I can also see that the front of the green is a little bit higher than the back of the green, which of course means that this green has a predominant slope of front left down to the back right. Now wherever my ball is on the surface, I now have a fair idea as to how it's going to curve. And to get a more precise read, I now need to go and stand a lot closer to the ball. Now we've reached the green, we want to get a look at our putt from as many different angles as possible. So if you need to go to the other side of the green to maybe put your trolley by the tee, then do keep your eyes on the green and work out those main predominant slopes. The next place to, uh, to really stop and have a look is a number of places back in line with our ball and standing slightly to the side so you're looking down your intended start line of the putt. Now from here I'm still keeping my attention wide and I'm looking at the far left of the green and the far right. I then bring my attention in a little bit and I start to look closer to the hole. Now this part actually looks fairly flat but from my earlier observations from way back from the green I know this part must move right to left because that's what the green is doing. So my last look at the hole I will start to actually create in my mind the exact curve that I think the putt's going to take. Bearing in mind of course that the putt will curve more as the ball slows down. Once I've got that clear picture in my mind of the line and the pace, I'm going to move in, have a couple of practice strokes, which I would do still while imagining my curve and looking at the hole. Once I'm happy with that, I'll line the putter up and without any th further thought, just hit the putt. 